Holy smokes, I have never in 47 years of doing this <laughs> had this happen on a newscast. Right. Our entire video system has crashed. We don't know whether we can get it back. So right now, we're going to go to Mark and have Mark The weather do maps weather. are working. Oh, the weather maps are working. You know what's funny about this? So I, did, I promise I didn't plan this, you guys. Take a look at the beginning of my first map. Now, oh, that's yeah. what the beginning of the first map is. That sums now, it up. That has now, something to do you know, with actually, this was here. not supposed to describe our video machine. It was supposed to describe <laughs> the snowpack across New Mexico because we've just gone in and taken a look at our snowpack stations across the state. And we're going to give you an indication of what we're dealing with here. And I was going to say, how ugly is it? Well, it's this ugly. It's very ugly. And let's go ahead and get to it and show you what the deal is out there. We've gone through all our mountain ranges here, the main ones that tend to pack big time snow for us. In the Sacramento Mountains, we are 95. 5% below normal for this time of year already across the south. Over into the Gila wilderness, we're way below here as well. 71% below average across the Gila. As you get up into the Hamas, we're also well below there too. Now what you'll notice though is a trend. We work our way farther to the north and you'll start to see things improve a little bit, but the Hamas way below. 83% below where we should be for this time of year. Over into the Sangre de Cristo, we're low here in as well. Remember, we've had a couple of storms, but no major storms to help us out. So we're 73% below average here. And finally, as you get up into the San Juans of New Mexico and Southwest Colorado, the story gets a little bit better, but it's still below average. We are still 37% below average for the San Juans. With most of the storms hitting this area versus, say, farther down into New Mexico, you'd imagine the San Juans are doing better. They are, but still everybody below average. But the story down south and even across the Sangre de Cristo and Jemez is very ugly. 37% in the metro right now. East southeast winds for us at three miles an hour. Across the north, it's a cool night, but not as cold as we've been in past nights. 30 in Taos, 32 Raton, 40 Las Vegas. Across the south, temperatures for the most part in the 30s and 40s out there. Looking at the satellite and radar, you can see most of the action off to the north here. Some scattered stuff over northern Utah and up into Idaho. No issues down here. Essentially, what we've got is some weak high pressure holding on to partly to mostly sunny skies here for us. And that's the way it's going to be for the next day or or two. We are going to drag a cold front into eastern New Mexico for Saturday, so we'll knock temperatures down there. The problem with this is it's a dry cold front, so it's not going to bring any precip for us. And we'll watch our next storm as it approaches the west coast here for Sunday into Monday. But as has been the trend for us pretty much the whole fall, this storm looks like it's going to ride the top of this relatively flat ridge and go mainly up into Colorado. It'll skim northern New Mexico and the San Juans of Colorado, but it's not going to be a direct hit again. So what we're going to get out of this is the snow focus going to the north for us once again. Light accumulations for the northern mountains will be possible for us. San Juans may do a little bit better. Windy statewide, we've heard that a million times before, and it looks like that's going to happen again for us. And no significant precipitation, no direct hit storms pushing into New Mexico anytime soon. So unfortunately, we don't have a better story for getting more precip in across the state. Fire danger is going to continue to be high. I would not be surprised to see more red flag warnings across the eastern side of the state as we head through the next couple of weeks, especially when we start to crank up those winds again. So across the northwest, temperatures here, 50s and 60s, partly cloudy, mild conditions. What you'll notice in the seven-day is there's a chance to grab some showers in Durango and into Farmington by late Sunday and into Monday. Again, I don't think we're talking about a major league storm here. But I wouldn't be surprised to see areas like the San Juans of Colorado end up with a winter weather advisory or a winter storm warning. But farther down into New Mexico, I think it's going to be tough for us to generate that later on into the weekend and next week. 69 Glenwood tomorrow, 69 in TRC, 70s from Lordsburg over into Las Cruces. And again, the Gila going to continue to stay very, very dry. Over to the southeast, 70s and even some 60s around Rudoso and Cloudcroft as well. Sunny and breezy conditions out there. And we say breezy, west winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. So so that's not going to be a real big deal. What you'll notice in the Roswell seven-day forecast is a big temperature drop off between Friday and Saturday. 78 tomorrow, very warm, cooling down thanks to the front on Saturday and really not rebounding all that much by Sunday. But as we get into Monday, we start to warm up once again, only to cool down with another front into the middle of next week. 66 Raton, 66 in Springer, Las Vegas looking at the same deal in 74 in Conscious, but we will see a gusty afternoon wind out of the west going to fuel some of those warm temperatures. 56 Taos tomorrow, 40 
42 in Red River, 52 Alamosa, partly sunny, breezy conditions. Your Santa Fe extended forecast looks pretty good for, well, we've talked about it a lot today on just about every show. Shopping weather looks really good around the plaza tomorrow, 57. We don't need good shopping weather. We've had plenty of it, but we're going to continue it. 52 on Saturday and 56 on Sunday. Watch Monday for that possibility of a stray shower. But again, the farther north that storm goes, the less chance we get at getting even a few showers in and around Santa Fe. East Mountains, partly sunny skies. West winds 10 to 20 miles an hour. Tahara's 58, 63 in Edgewood and 55 out in Cedar Crest. And finally right here in the metro area, we're going to top out tomorrow with temperatures in the low 60s. Partly cloudy, warm conditions out there for us for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be our warmest day of the week so far with a high in the heights of 61 degrees. But here's a look at the seven day, and it shows a little bit of a cool down for Saturday. Sunday, we start to rebound temperature wise. Monday, could have thrown a shower in, but I just think it's too ambitious at this point to even hope to grab showers by Monday or even into Tuesday, you guys. So we stay extremely dry out there, and there's no reason to believe that's going to change anytime soon. All right. Well, the suspense is mounting. <laughs> Will our video system come back? Find out when we come back. All right. We'll see you in a minute.